Hello, welcome to Today at Summer Arts. I'm your host, Max DeBoss, and today our special guest is American author, poet, and playwright, Nick Flynn. Hey, hey Max. Today, Nick. I'm very well, thank you. Good. Um, could you tell us a little bit how you became part of the Summer Arts program? How you heard about it, how you got here? Uh, I wish I could. Uh, you know, I got, I got an email uh, asking me to come, and I came. All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I wish it was more complicated than that. Fresno is a, you know, one of the, the, the mythic spots on the poetry map in America because of Phil Levine. Mm -hmm. And so when I heard about Fresno, it, I was attracted because I'd never been to Fresno before. And this is, you know, Phil Levine came from here and from Phil Levine came Larry Levis and maybe Kim Adenizio and the whole branch of other poets came from that. So Fresno is a mythic place. Great. And uh, can you tell us a little bit about your professional background? Uh, well, I write poems, and so there's not really much profession there. Uh, it's, uh, you know, you sort of do something sort of alone in your studio for about 20 years, and then a book comes out. Uh, you know, and to support yourself, uh, to support myself, I did various things along the way. I, I've worked with the homeless, I've been an electrician, I've, uh, I have a captain's license to pilot boats, uh, been fired from every restaurant I worked in. Uh, <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, you, you know, you try to pay the rent and write the poems. And I, um, I also read that you were part of an Academy Award winning documentary. Yeah, uh, Darwin's Nightmare. That um, came out in 2006, or the, the Academy Awards was 2006. Uh, and uh, it had already won. It, it's it, it's a, sort of a collaboration, a European um, a production. A friend of mine who lives in Paris is the director. And, uh, you know, it's his film, and I, but I worked on it with him, uh, you know, for several years uh, in the studio and, and went to Africa with him during the filming. And uh, it's, uh, yeah, we almost, we got beaten by the uh, penguins that year, the uh, March of the Penguins, which uh, was unfortunate. Yeah. We couldn't, we couldn't win, though. I mean, the penguins, I mean, they, they you know, they, they already wear the tux. There was a logo for the <laughs> Academy. That year was a penguin. Yeah, it was you a setup. can't win. It was exactly. a setup. Yeah, but I'm sure it was a great experience, nonetheless. Uh, not really, no. <laughs> no, not really. Actually, it was kind of incredibly dull. Uh, no matter what they sort of what what excitement might be generated uh, visually on TV, it's a, sort of a long slog in a in sort of a lifeless space. All right. <laughs> yeah. And um, <laughs> also, I read that something you were um, something you wrote is also being produced as a movie. Coming up. Uh, yeah, my, my first uh, memoir, uh, another bullshit night in Suck City, is. Uh, you know, it was optioned uh, for a movie when it came out, which was in 2004, I think it was optioned, uh, right after the book came out. Mm -hmm. And uh, here we are in 2010, and uh, we think it'll happen. All right. We think it will happen. It's I mean, it's supposedly, it's, it's supposedly all set up and ready to go, but it's, you know, Hollywood is a, is a strange place. So. And um, how has your summer arts experience so far, coming back to the summer arts? <laughs> Oh, it's been great. Uh, the, I don't know, the level of students, it seems really engaging. I mean, this is really an intense, sort of very special moment away from uh, your usual sort of academy or, or uh, university college experience. Um, you know, these, these are actually, I think, actually where, where creative work gets done is in situations like this. Uh, the university experience is probably more about getting the paper, you know, getting the degree. And this is actually where creative work can really happen because uh, it's just so concentrated and so you're really in a group of peers and uh, you know there's conversations that go on and you're also stuck here for two weeks or a month uh, so it's very concentrated so I think it's, it seems great yeah. And how is it working with the students? Um, are you trying to, what are you trying to pass on to them through this? Uh, well you know I, I have sort of a you know a, a certain thing I, I, I like to sort of think about in writing, or I've been thinking about for the last couple of years, which is uh, bewilderment, and how to achieve that in writing, how to, which means sort of pushing into the unknown. Uh, writing, uh, especially, you know, I'm working in a memoir uh, workshop here, and, you know, I just have this, uh, my, my idea is that memoir is more about what you don't know than what you know. Uh, and so we're trying to figure out how to get into that unknown space. Right, and is this your first time here working with the Summer Arts program? It is, yeah. First time in Fresno, first time working with Summer Arts, yeah. And um, you're doing a reading tonight for the lecture series. Could you give us a little insight on what you're going to be reading, what we can expect from that? Uh, it's going to be a really good reading tonight, yeah. Um, <laughs> I, you know, I'm not sure, actually, you know, the, the, the dirty secret is, is I don't really plan the reading until about 10 minutes before the reading. All right. Um, 
I like to sort of see who, what the crowd looks like, you know, whether they seem uh, uh, like a friendly crowd or maybe a hostile crowd, uh, you know, to adjust the reading to that. If they seem like they're sleeping, I try to sort of maybe amp it up a little. If they seem too lively, I try to tone it down a little. Yeah. Uh, so it depends on the crowd, really. Great. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Nick. Yeah, thanks, and, um, Max. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. That was today at Summer Arts. And uh, join us next time.